when the curators for the celebration of our 10th anniversary suggested that we commission Bo Dealey to do a mural in the Nasher and then another mural in downtown Durham, so then it would be a visual connection. I was thrilled. I knew it would be a success. I knew it. I mean, it's, it's gorgeous. When I came to the Nasher, I began to ask a lot of questions about Durham. And then one moment I saw this thing about Julian Francis Abel and I read it and I was just totally floored by the importance of this man and his attachment to not only the university from which, from where I'm living, University of Pennsylvania, you know, but this university as well, Duke University, and how he's connected to the Duke family through the architecture firm Trent Bauer, and from there being hired to essentially make up a lot of the buildings that are west campus of, of, of Duke University. And uh, the fact that he was the first African-American a uh, student to graduate from the architecture school in the University of Pennsylvania to win awards there. It was just amazing to learn this and to see that this is information that was kept in the dark uh, because of the sign of, the, of, of those times. And, um, you know, to bring them back to light, I think, is really important. And I, and I love the way that it connects to, you know, this shadow and light play I have in that painting and the idea of bringing Julian Abel's history out of the shadows and into the light of day. You know, that's one of the great things about inviting an artist to come in and do a new project. We actually all learned something. I didn't know that story. I didn't know that history. And I think a lot of us here at the museum and a lot of us at the university and even in Durham didn't know that history. But now we're aware and it's wonderful.